Uganda's agriculture sector is very sensitive to climate change. The past few years have seen a drop in production levels as farmers battle to deal with the effects of unpredictable weather conditions. With the imminent threat to the sector, the need for water for irrigation purposes remains high among farmers. According to the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Water and Environment, Alfredo Kotokidi, some of the farmers' concerns are being worked on through the Water for Production Department. We have completed a number of uh, irrigation schemes. Twelve other facilities are under construction, but we have also completed the design for 37 uh, facilities for demonstration of irrigation. He notes that among some of the projects that have been completed so far includes 20 demonstration schemes, valley dams and some large-scale dams. We have done Tochi, which is complete. We have completed uh, Olwen and Agoro. To many of the farmers who have so far benefited from the schemes, this comes as a game changer. <laughs> Today, as I'm talking, I'm already having uh, the tomatoes, which I've seen is doing well so much. I'm expecting nine million here. The permanent secretary notes that given the positive results so far registered, the ministry plans on setting up more irrigation facilities in different locations. However, he notes that this will be on a phased manner. The whole idea is that uh, at every parish, we should have a facility for water production, which acts as a nucleus for that parish, because that is where you can do commercial agriculture, you can do aquaculture. Much as the demand for the water facilities remains high among farmers, completion of work on some of the sites has been hampered by some natural factors. The Lake Choga Basin is experiencing influx and a lot of rainfall. So low-lying areas such as those, the Tochi, or just around the shores of the lake, have had the misfortune of being inundated by water. With agriculture contributing to the biggest employer in Uganda's economy, the demand for water for production activities will continue to remain high. Given the total number of parishes in the country, the Water Ministry is expected to construct over 10,000 irrigation schemes countrywide. Nelson Omoya, NTV.